This is Mrs. Allison and welcome to my house. I wanted to show you a couple of activities that you can do at home to work on improving how your hands work and how your eyes and your hands work together. I have with me here a few materials. I have paper and I have crayons. In my box of crayons, I have little crayons and I have a regular crayon. I like to use little crayons because they teach kids how to hold their crayons correctly without you having to tell them to do so. So big crayons, when a child likes to hold a big crayon incorrectly, this is how you hold it correctly, when they like to hold it incorrectly, many kids like to hold it with their whole hand or with all their fingers on the crayon, okay? With little crayons, they are too small to hold with your whole hand, because then you can't use it, and you can't put all your fingers on the crayon, because then it is also too small to do that. So little crayons force kids to hold their crayon correctly with their fingers without you having to tell them how to do, how to do it or to correct their fingers. So that's what I like to use for my coloring and drawing activities. So in this activity, all you need is a crayon or a marker and a piece of paper. So you don't need your own coloring pages. You can make them yourself. So some kids, I like to start real simple and just draw a face. I like to draw my own coloring page using a black mark marker or crayon so that way they know what they're coloring. Parents, if you feel like you cannot draw, don't worry. You can make something like this really simple. So with this, um, any child, um, usually starting about age three, um, they can do this activity. So you are just working on targeting. So you're working on coloring a certain area telling their brain how to use their eyes and their hands together. So I'm just coloring a specific area. Now, when your child colors, it's probably going to look more like this. That's perfectly normal, and that's what you want to see them do. With this activity, the goal is to get them to hold the crayon correctly so their hand can get strong and their fingers can learn how to work as a team. With this next activity, I have two pieces of paper. I cut a big piece of paper in two, or you can just use two pieces of paper. I like to call this activity, My Turn, Your Turn Drawing. It works on um, improving a child's hand-eye coordination, so that's how their hands and their eyes work together in their brain, and it teaches them different shapes and um, how to kind of draw pictures on their own. So, we're gonna keep it really simple. This is going to be my paper, and this paper is going to be the child's paper. In this activity, you're just going to draw each part of the picture one step at a time. Parents, don't worry if you can't draw. Pick something simple and just have them copy after you. So I'm going to draw a circle in the middle towards the top of my paper. So you'll have them do the same. Okay, then I'm going to draw two lines down and you'll have them do the same. Then <clears throat> have them draw a bigger circle and a bigger circle. And then you can do two lines down. So we're teaching really simple shapes right now just circles and lines. This is how we can change it and make it more difficult. I can put triangles down here at the bottom, and those are my feet, and they can do the same. Then I can put a triangle up here at the top inside my top circle. So you're teaching them not only shapes, but you're also teaching them directions, like top, and bottom. All these skills are important for kids when they're learning letters 
and for other things that they need to know in school. And I'm going to draw circles. And they're going to draw circles. And this is where you can change it up and you can use the same um, simple picture here and make different things. So I can draw triangles on the inside and I can make it um, in a little crown at the top and I can make it a simple chicken or you can draw triangles on the inside for wings and you can draw little arches and make it a turkey. You can also look up different videos or pictures online on how to draw and they will give you lots of ideas for this activity. Thank you. Hope to see you again soon.